Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Oh, shit! <laughs> Here we go! What was he talking about, huh? What goddamn black book? He was just messing with your mind, Dale. So they could get the shot off. Jesus Christ. I swear I never come so close to shitting myself. Try to sleep. Okay, love bug? I'm not tired. I know what a gunshot sounded like at her age. Now she'll never be able to stop hearing them. I know. I can't even... She's six, Vince. Six. Ten years working here under three different managers. <laughs> Worst thing ever happened before was a rattlesnake in the bathroom. Take a minute. Get your shit together. Man, quit asking me about this weak ass book, bro. No asshole. If you want to threaten me, now we gonna talk crazy to do. Nah. I was like, I'm gonna take that as a threat too, by the way. This right here. Hey. What are you doing over here? Hey, cut the guy a break. He just saved my life out there. Thank you. Just one time. Doesn't mean he'll do it twice. Look, I ain't saying we should give up. But what are we supposed to do now, huh? No helicopter? That pig Romero don't care if we're dead or alive. I don't know anymore. It look, looks like he's he's not a tough guy for one. I don't know how they didn't see that. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, <clears throat> Sheriff. Uh... Should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Oh, oops, what? Dante, please. My boys are in there. They wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, standby. We have a situation developing. Oh, this shit getting crazy. Uh, Sheriff? Sharon? Better not make me regret this. <sighs> Fuck me. Hey, this story is Open up fire. Changes his mind already, will ya? Huh? Why are you here? I got this. <clears throat> oh. You clearly do not. Hi, Ma. Hey, Mama. Hi, sweethearts. Hmm. Paul? Sharon? Hmm. Hope you're here to talk some sense into your boys. You two friends or something? Long story. So how did this whole thing become such a damn clusterfuck? Romero's how. He tries to break in, we ask for a helicopter, he lures us outside, takes a shot at Dale. I swear to God, I could kill that lousy crook. Got something okay. to say? Okay. Nope. Come on now. How have my sons been treating you? No complaints. We're fine. We'll get through it. Fine, huh? Not sure I buy that. What's your name? But don't ask them, bitch! He's a family man. Been trouble from the beginning. Grabbing our guns. He saved your brother's life! 
Family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters, but desperate days make for desperate men. They're scared, just like you are, just like I am. So tell you what, you help me take care of my family, I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? What choice do we have? All right, I'll tell her. I mean, we, I don't think anybody likes that cop outside. Okay, look, the sheriff, he, um, he gave me something. A two-way pager. He uh, what? He wants that book he was talking about. He said if I don't get it. You're working with the cops? Oh my god. Oh, no, wait! Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. <laughs> Douglas? <laughs> so Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? Crocs or the cops are crooked. There we go. Look, I don't know all the history here, but I talked to your sheriff and he was bad news. You're perceptive. I'll give you that. But it don't mean all that much. <sighs> Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Dale, Jay, don't you worry. I'll get you out of here. You're helping them? Seriously? Um. I'm pretty much totally making this up as I go. So build the plane as you fly it. I thought stay quiet and do nothing was a pretty good idea. Yeah. Oh, that went out the fucking window when you told me to break out of that tape and answer the phone. Well, I've been quietly doing nothing all my life. Daddy. Hey, pumpkin. Try to sleep. Daddy, you look scared. Do I? That's not how I feel. How do you feel? The opposite, actually. I feel safe because I'm with you. Okay. Then I'll keep protecting you. <sighs> Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. Wait, we're taking them with us? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's just a book about birds. Huh. Some kind of hiding place. For the Black Bull. Where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I... I thought there was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I... I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. But Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. What? Uh, me? me? We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. If he tries anything, do what you have to. Is she really a boss, like... I don't like the bitch, but I, I, I see she's assertive, you know what I mean? All right, look, another flashback. All right, I can hear, I can hear the copyright. I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it. I might, I, I might have to edit this part out. Last! Ugh. 
Hunter returns. Cut some cottontails. Big deal. I promised Ma we'd fix his roof, but it won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. We replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw, easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't. Hey, bro, what kind of timber you got there? Uh... Oh. Ain't softwood, so... You saying you got hard wood? That's right. Hey, Tyler, says he's got hard wood. <laughs> Maybe you need a cold shower. Look at his face. Almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Whoa. <laughs> Should've known better. I fucking taught him that. Hey. Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload. Nah, man. This shit on my face. I don't think so. Sure? <sighs> <laughs> Whoa! Sniffing aerosol can is the lamest oh, shit you could go. possibly do. Don't let go. <laughs> well, lucky, lucky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof, then. Seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? Jay did him. Huh? Credit where it's due, right? Well... You ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster, too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. You gonna slap him. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <clears throat> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. John Goodman tripping, bro. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son. And step aside. I will beat you. We'll jump his ass. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. Ah. Brother, man. What in God's name are you fighting over this time? Nothing. 
Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? <sighs> Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? I... Uh, caught some cottontails. Thanks, son. Always thinking of us. Play Sigourney Weaver. Cover for your daddy. Uh... I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No, thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. you hello son I represent some business acquaintances of your father's ah that is good I can see this is a well-run home man get out of my house man what you want anything I can help you with sir now that's what I like to hear. Help me, you most surely can. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Which means you must be Jay. I've been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? I don't know you, bro. Depends on who you are and what you want. My name is Mr. Thorne. I represent an organization that has a financial agreement with your father. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? This guy's great. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. This whole little debate is funny as shit. If you gotta, just don't drop the ashes on the floor. Hmm. I was certain I had some matches. Hmm. Listen, son. I'm not a violent man, but the people I work for, if your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest, Owing money will be the least of his troubles. We don't got no money. No dollars. And no cents either. <laughs> Interesting. Swiss? The watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It's... It ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. You're lying. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? No, we don't, because you're lying. Keep my watch, bro. Get the fuck on, bro. I ain't agreeing to nothing, so back off. Just like your father, always playing the wrong hand. Ow! Get off me! Keep ah. still, you little ah. runt. Jay, forgot my damn watch. Huh? Hey! Yeah, you got tough with your sons. Yeah, get tough with him. I your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss-stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families too! You'll be hearing from us! He don't sound Bring so tough off. now, do we? I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive!
tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Gee, thanks, Why? Dad. Took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? <sighs> For the love of God, Jay, I have a right to know what's going on in my own house. Not my problem. Talk to your husband about it. Don't know. I didn't see. Right. And I'm Janet fucking Jackson. What have you gotten yourself into this time? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always! If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. A little backstory on the boys and the family. I like it. I like it. I might even love it. The shed's in the back. Yeah. Away from the road. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Hey, hey, he he can move for a big boy, can't he? Why isn't he turning off the lights? Halfway there. Holy sturdy as shit. Huh? Gee, thanks, Sheriff. He's trolling, bro. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. Jesus. All right, are we pressed for time? There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh, it's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, 8,000. There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey, you all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> it must be hard. I know I hated my life when I was your age. I was fat, my dad was never around. Mine was. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Well, flight lessons aren't cheap. Earning your license doesn't guarantee you work as a pilot, so... I just didn't. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. 
What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. Hey, we got it. And we Where have the book. To? A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? Police bribes, maybe? Let her figure it out, yeah? Just can't believe you wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll glad- Damn, bitch, you snitching? God damn! Gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10, unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. I hope she keeps on sleeping. Won't be much longer. What if something happens to us, Vince? They don't have any reason to harm us. We just gotta get through it. You're right. We'll make it. I've been thinking about the settlement from work. The gag order. And all the hush money. Yeah? If we get out of this alive, I know what I want to do. We suing them. She told me not to take the money in the car. Her and um, her dad said that. I'm not signing. I'm gonna take those fuckers to court and sue them for ten times what they offered us. Really? Vince, that's amazing. You're not mad? I thought you wanted me to put it all behind us. Exactly. I wanted to put it behind us. I don't care. It's just so good to see you fight for something again. If I win, maybe I can finally take those flight lessons. You can't go home again? Vince. Grow up. You even realize how far past going I've been home thinking a lot too over the last few days I'm and sorry, Jake. There's no going back now. I need to ask you something. It better not be about dude. The other night when you when I got that text message and I said it was no big deal, you just trusted me. Why? Ah. Uh. Uh, let's let's hey look let's put the corn the corny answer. All right. Most people probably pick one of these two. Most people probably pick this one. Let's just pick this. You said nothing happened, and I believe you. Do you not want me to? Of course I do. I just. Is it really that easy for you? Look, life's hard enough without me making problems that don't need to exist. You're a good man. You know that? So I've been told. Whoa! I just got an achievement that said Vince and Michelle saved their marriage. Wow. So I guess those choices that we picked earlier would have had an impact on if they stayed together. I didn't even know that was going on. Yeah, hi. Is Jessica there? Uh, it's Dale. Dale Halt? No, the one they caught shoplifting. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Look, I, I seen you work in that liquor store sometimes, and well, there's that bar near there, you know, the one with the pool table and all? And I just was wondering if, um, you'd want to go there with me sometime. Well, all right. 
it's a date. Yo, you you setting up dates at a time like this? All right, everybody, on your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Bus is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Big Sam out there shooting. I could've got hit by that bus I think I messed up that QTE. Jay! Get up! Jay! Jay! Oh no, stop with the flashbacks, bro, come on! Boy, they, they know how to get you invested. You have to. When you got an art style like this, the story got to be like that. Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Why I gotta do it? Yo, that dude is always on fries, bro. He gotta do all the all the cheap jobs, bro. They put this dude on fries the whole game. Makes sense, I guess. It's only one of the sons that did that. Is it like pissed off at Appreciate you not telling your ma about the debt. I didn't like lying to her. I know. But you did the right thing. Even though it seemed like the wrong thing. No, it, no, it was the, it wasn't the right thing. Stop lying. She used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your ma, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. Damn it! I, I picked the wrong one. Then I know when to cash in the chips. You gotta stop. I've tried, son. But once you get a taste for winning, you just want it more. Crackhead. This is a crackhead, bro. Turn off here. Hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. We stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? There's a body in there. There's a body in there, bro. He got. Uh. 
You got it? A pull. Keep pulling. Come on. Is he dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He threatened us. You heard him. So I, I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me, and I hit him. Uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. It wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave them the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. You the hell no! You do that shit on your own. Ain't touching that, man. You can do that, Pa. Ain't no use to him now. You do it! It still doesn't feel right. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your ma. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. I... I can't. Sorry. <sighs> If you want a job done properly, you gotta do it yourself. Yeah, do it your damn self. I ain't gotta do that shit. <sighs> now listen, when I was half your age, we had this young horse. Beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then, one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. I can still smell his whiskey breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and all those years I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. You hear me? It had to be. Oh. He's still alive. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> we gotta cover him up before he. Help me. Trust me, son. We'll be doing him a mercy. I'm not doing. This shit is crazy! Bury him. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Bury him. Oh! <laughs>